The Poland trip was a roller coaster ride, from the horror of Majdanek to the joy of finding the Goldberg farm in Babatella, from the darkness of Treblinka to the goodness of the Stisch family, from the disgust of Auschwitz-Birkenau to the promise of Poles reconnecting with their Judaism. The entire time, Sam and Esther hovered, whispering in my ear that they knew the truth, that humans have the capacity for the greatest evil, to torture and kill, to shoot people into a pit, to gas them to death, to burn their bodies and extract the gold from their teeth, to hunt them down in the forest for a kilo of sugar. But there was another truth that they also knew, that humans had the highest capacity for kindness, to give a fellow prisoner a cube of sugar, to hide and feed people as they were being hunted like animals, to cook food in a wash pot at Treblinka, to bring it to the dying in the hospital, to stand up for someone else, even in a death camp, to save others when it puts your own children in danger. I opened up to holding these contradictory thoughts in my mind at the same time and living with the tension that it creates. Before this trip, I knew that I would discover new facts and meet new people. But what I didn't know was that I would reach the dark matter of the human soul. I now accept that humans are at once, but once both evil and good. My work on Sam and Esther's story and my visit to Poland taught me that I can choose which side of my nature to express. This is my new reality.